know what we learned is you know there's there's there is travel right and there's there's always going to be some uh, some lag there for the guys um, there's also the heat factor when we we head to, to, to Florida um, those things that you know we've learned over the years that we have to take into account we have to be very careful in our preparation leading up to, to the games when we do fly away um, you know, I, I think the league is, is a very strong conference, right? There's some good teams with really good players, uh, talented players. And, you know, I, I just think we need to be very uh, uh, united, have a, a strong sense of uh, collectiveness on the road, especially. Um, and I think at home, you got to make things happen. You know, at home, you got to get points. you got to get three points. Your home games are your most important games. And on the road, you, you sell for nothing less than points. And uh, I think we've instilled in that uh, since the beginning of, of my tenure here. And those first, that first recruiting class are now seniors. So they get it. They understand how important it is to get points on the road and absolutely get three points at home. I would say team morale is really high right now. Um, we even after taking our first loss of the season, we feel like we've been we've been playing well, and we've even deserved a little more from some of the results we've gotten. Um, so we're we're optimistic going into conference play. Uh, I think I think guys, you know, took it upon themselves to really prepare themselves on their own, have that self drive over the summer, and and, and come in in shape. Um, I think you know, and, and then in preseason we worked really hard. You know, we we played three scrimmages which is very good and prepared us. Uh, you know, we have, uh, essentially we had three Division I games under our belt before our first game. So I think that really helped in our preparation um, with, along with the newcomers on the team and, and, uh, and kind of gelling them together, you know, to be, a, you know, to, to start well. So I've worked pretty hard over the summer to prepare myself for this season and I feel like I'm sharp. I'm I'm finishing most of my chances, but even more importantly, I've been getting such great service from some of my teammates. I think Andrew Nino has assisted half of my goals this season so far, and um, we've got a lot of a lot of good players in our offense um, who have been setting me up. The way I see the game, you know, your number nine is a critical player, right? He's gonna he's gonna get you out of some tough spots when he scores, right? And he's gonna he's gonna help the team, uh, you know, with, by scoring. You know, help the, the the temperature of the team, the emotional factor of the team, um, because usually when you score, when you have a number nine that can score goals, you're going to win some games, all right? Or you're not going to lose games. And and he's been very critical to us. You know, we rely on him a lot. But I, I, I you know, we've said to him, you know, here you go. You know, we're going to, you know, take the team on your back, and you got to carry us. And, and some games, he's going to score, and there's going to be others that he may not score. Um, but, you know, we, we're, we're going with him, you know, and he's our nine and, you know, we, we put a lot of work into him and he's worked hard himself to, to, to be prepared to, to, you know, carry that weight when he, you know, when he gets steps on the field and, and, he's, and he's proven that he can handle it. Um, so, we're, you know, we're, we're really happy with him. He's matured into the, the number nine that, we, we, you know, we, we've hoped uh, that we hoped he was going to become when we recruited him.